Hi, Bob. I see you've gotten some feedback on your criticism. I want to explain to you a little bit. Um, I haven't seen actually all the replies to you. I've seen uh, some of Wise Monkeys, and I saw Great Texas, and I watched your video. Seems like a couple days ago, but maybe it was yesterday. A couple days ago. Um, anyway, yeah, what you don't really get is that the real battle here is between those that believe in grouping together like factions and, you know, basically Thunderfoot has advocated uh, cutting breaks for other atheists uh, that, that you don't cut for theists. In other words, he's advocating hypocrisy. And furthermore, he's hypocritical about that because he's he perfectly willing to attack other atheists. So, um, that is something I've talked about before, Bubba. Uh, I call it associational logic. When people are making their conceptual, uh, doing their conceptual decision making based on associations that they take uh, the people involved to have. So, for example, with it's just rampant with Thunderfoot. It's it's obvious and and to the level of being nauseating. Um, for example, his association with science, which is unknown but claimed. His association as um, knowledgeable person in general and as as an atheist activist. And we're supposed to decide what to think of what Thunderfoot says and does based on those associations. That's just not how it works. Now, I happen to think that the biggest social battle in, in the world is between people that do associational reasoning, people that think in terms of factions, people that will, you know, look the other way when facing the crimes of someone in their faction that they feel associated with and feel totally justified about that and people that don't you know that have some sort of a loyalty to, to ideals you know and I don't believe in idealism at the cost of humanism but one of my ideals is individuality and humanism so I believe you need to you know you can't you can't just you can't say, I don't steal, because you don't steal from your associates, but you steal from others. You're still a thief. And, you know, it's very obvious to many of us. Now, Coughlin can cuss and say whatever he wants, and if he's not telling us to be hypocrites, then that is more civil discourse. You know, when Thunderfoot calmly tells us to believe that the Christian world has gone through the Enlightenment and, and that shows that Christianity somehow is a better re religion or now it is or just these cultural relativisms this is associational because he's part of that culture and you see He's asking us to train ourselves in the principles of bigotry and closed-mindedness. Really doesn't matter what words Coughlin uses. It's just like it doesn't matter if he decides to be sit down and be really uh, intelligent sounding like some bloggers do or he decides to be a comedian and satirical like some bloggers do or wherever. It's the message. And Coughlin is defending, is defending not being a hypocrite. He's on the side saying, don't be a hypocrite. Thunderfoot is defending, no, be a hypocrite. It just needs to be impactful. You have to make a difference. To me, what's important is character. And I've met plenty of theists with character and plenty of atheists with none. And uh, I'm in alliance with people of character, period. I like your videos. <clears throat> It's too bad for people might be introduced just by this. It, you uh, strike me as someone honestly trying to learn and, and have a you know an exploration of, of learning you want to learn. You're not here, I don't think, to grind some axe. I really appreciate that. But yeah, you really missed 
what's going on in this dynamic. And uh, Coughlin is a very advanced and sophisticated uh, on such issues. Very sensitive against this kind of associational logic. Um, he's very sensitive in, in being able to tell the difference between a bigotry and a criticism.